Hey dudes, how's it going? Welcome back to some more again, Champak. We are working on an event today in Inazuma. Yeah, it's about to end in like two days, but we're here. About to work on it. It's called the... <laughs> Sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Exist... Akis... Akisu... Kimo... Damashi... Damashi? Um, this event's going to be around only for two more days. There's a crown in there. Primos, and supposedly about like yokais and spirits and stuff, so that sounds like fun. The ever well informed Paimon has caught wind of the exciting new event hosting by the Yashiro Commission called the Test of Courage. Experience new amusement and win awesome rewards because before it's too late. Yeah, it's about to be too late. I do want another one of these crowns because I don't actually own nine of these and I was working on building some characters, but we are going to be taking uh, Kamisato with us, not Ganyu this time. We're leaving Ganyu behind. She's going to take a nap while we work on this event. Plus, uh, I was working on Ayaka. She's all built up and everything. That's, I have an R2 of her signature weapon. Her artifacts are all set. No constellations, though. Her talents? Eh. I don't think there's going to be too much fighting. If there is, it's not going to be that bad, really. It is an event, after all. If you want to see her stats, this is what we got going on. For those who are curious. But we're going to be taking her with us. Since we're in Inazuma. Why not? And plus we got to go over to Kamisato Estate. So there's probably going to be two of them. Let's go. Also, sorry if I sound a little off today. Kind of woke up late. But it's all good. I should go ahead and start this. Oh, your brother's here. The pro. Ah, time no see. It's you two. Yes, it has been a while. <laughs> we heard the Yashiro Commission we left and didn't come back. Courage, so we came right over to sign ourselves up. We didn't expect to see you here in person, though. Does that mean this event is really important? You think I only make an appearance for occasions that are deemed sufficiently important? <laughs> it just so happens that this test of courage event was actually my <laughs> suggestion. But, naturally, oh. I've left the planning and more trifling details to be arranged by my retainers. You the head organizer. such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event, that's all. Oh, Paimon gets it! So what you're saying is, you're not very busy right now. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event rules! <laughs> Only Paimon could be so natural at ordering others around. Right. However, the possibility remains that we may yet require your assistance. Uh, sorry. What did you say? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Seeing as I apparently have some time, I suppose we may chat about the event for a moment. Yippee! <laughs> As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forest. Before the start of each round, participants will be divided into teams of two. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around the Chinju Forest area. Alright. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that round? Huh. So there's going to be multiple rounds to the Test of Courage? Precisely. There will be a total of three rounds in the Test of Courage because the event was actually orchestrated by three different parties. Merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find. So, naturally, the event will require three rounds to determine the winners. Oh, mm. Gets it? So basically, it boils down to searching for stuff in Chinju Forest. We'll need to find one item each round for a total of three items after three rounds. Huh. Simple enough for Paimon. Yes, seems you've got the gist of it. We will be issuing different rewards based on the number of rounds won. So, if a participant wins multiple rounds, then that will also be reflected in their final reward. If a participant manages to find all three items, then they shall receive the grand prize provided by the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ooh, a grand prize? Sounds like it could be really valuable. As for its or true not. value, 
I'm afraid you'll have to win the event first and ask Lady Guji yourself. Guji? Of course. This event is intended to measure your courage. If you withdraw from the event because you become too frightened, then you might as well forget about seeing any rewards. I'm curious myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. It'll be most disappointing if nobody claims the prizes we've prepared. Don't worry, those prizes are as good as ours! Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down Paimon's little spine. The Traveler will be brave enough, no doubt about that. I appreciate right. your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you perform. Anyway, I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. As for the three items you'll be searching for, please wait for a staff member to inform you at the start of the event. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Whoa, what did I mean by that? Oh, will there be spooky things in Chinju Forest? There might be a jump scare. He's just pulling your leg. Paimon thought so too. Well, in that case, there's nothing to be scared of. Anyway, we got an event to win. Grand prize, here we come! We've been through so much scary shit. Why would you ever be scared of this? But yeah, there's spooky stuff. Oh, he's gone. I was just gonna tell him. I'm taking your sister with me, though. Later. But yeah, we have a spooky forest and there's spirits, but no walnut. Seriously. What are they thinking? They weren't thinking at all. Hey, Ito. We need a banger Hold event. It right there. Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres. Didn't expect to see you here. We need events in Genshin. This this is the guy you want. <laughs> Freaking love Ito. Huh? I might knows that voice. <gasps> it's Ito! What are you doing here? Oh, wait. Don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage. <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. I mean, well, uh, that's what I really want to say. <laughs> but uh, I have actually got something else going on. Oh? What's that? Ah, it's a long story. As soon as I heard about the test of courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. But, uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Uh. Chinju Forest? What? We've already been there a million oh. times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. <laughs> what a waste of time. Let's play some genius invocation TCG. Hell yeah. Seriously? Test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nuh-uh, not in my gang. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it now. Dragging the gang to an event they don't want to go to won't be the best for your reputation as a leader. Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and tantalizing experiences for everyone. A happy gang means a happy life. Even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way or another, I'll show them how much fun a test of courage can be. Wow, Ito. Anyway, I'm no stranger to Chinju Forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. But seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not going to be a test of courage, now is it? Not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it still boils down to you. Absolutely. Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated, you don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided to step in and spice things up a little. Wait, you don't seriously mean that- What did you do? Oh, oh you bet I do. Yours truly is going to be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. But it's going to take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Come on, come scare people with me, please. No someone that can help with that. Pretty please? <laughs> Forget it! Pretty, pretty please? Ah, fine. But don't forget, we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out, just don't get in the 
way of our prize. Ah, right. uh, yes! You're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry. With me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. All right. Those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> what a noisy guy. Yeah. But after hearing him laugh and talk, Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Okay. Hey, Traveler, Paimon, enough chit-chat. We're going to miss the event. Ah, uh, coming! Hezu. Hezo? Forgot his name. I've only seen him once, though, during a hangout event. Huh? Yeah, but seriously, I'm still upset that they didn't include Hu Tao in this. I get it, it's in Azuma, but it's mine. You're gonna invite Ghost, but you're not gonna invite uh, Wanshan Fuel Power Lady on this? Come on. You can exercise Ghosts. It's her thing. I was like, nah. Right. This looks like the place. Uh, is it just Paimon, or does it look a lot scarier than usual here? Same. Yeah, it looks the same when I first got here. Hey, Paimon. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Don't sneak up on Paimon like that. What do you want? Got ah, nothing. I just had a thought occur to me. What? I want to scare the gang members real good, but now that I think about it, I've never actually scared anyone before. <sighs> You're only now realizing this? So you mean you want to practice first? Practice? Oh, now there's an idea. Hey, uh, I've got it. Why don't you join the test of courage like everyone else, and I'll go hide and try to scare you from time to time. Then you two can judge my scaring skills. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. Let me go get ready. Just wait. You'll see how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> and there he goes, running off and still talking to himself. Well, mm -hmm. we were here to join the event anyway. Guess we'll just have to pass Ito's little test along with whatever else the event throws at us. Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Let's go talk to her. There's the event staff and not a ghost. Ooh. Okay. Only he's an Oni trying to scare people. He's never scared anyone. Oh, it is. What Dongo sign? It is. Oh no, it's like Dongo milk sign. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. E. Yep, that's right. Uh, judging from your outfit, you must be one of the shrine maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine. Where's the Guji of your eyes? That's right. Huh. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, truly ominous. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep, and the darkness will swallow you up. <laughs> What's with the sinister laugh? All right. Is she really a shrine maiden? Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Three... Two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Is that the first test? Sure, you could say that. You know, the most unfortunate tales always happen unexpectedly on just a normal, average day. Just like today. That's true. But no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Everything was already set into motion the moment you two stepped into this place. Just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already decided on your partner? Ah, you finally said something that Paimon can understand. Yep, the two of us will be partners. We always make the best team. Hmm. That's true. But it appears your names were written together as a single participant. The Traveler and Paimon. Which means you'll have to oh. find yourselves another partner in order to join the event. Wait, are you serious? Ugh, if only Ito hadn't gone running off on his own, we could have had a partner. Now what should we do? He's focused on scaring people, as though. As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to designate a partner. You could go ask around. Just be sure to make it quick. 
If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh-oh. Better with Lurie be quick on this. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. I mean... Ayaka sounds like a good idea. Is it just the three of them? It's just the three. Pick one out of the three contestants. Okay. Well, I mean, she's right here, too. Oh, no, I'm breaking immersion. Okay. Close. Hello, lady. Aka. Oh, Traveler and Paimon. Greetings. Huh? It's Ayaka! Are you here for the test of courage, too? Yes. So is Zhao. told me that the event would be most interesting and suggested that I personally participate. I have never experienced a Test of Courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. Mm. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper respect and have brought shame upon my clan. Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners for the event? Actually, as a the single entity, just though. told us that we only count as a single participant. However that works. So, <laughs> we're looking for a partner now. Splendid. In that case, how would you like to be my partner? I always feel at ease when you're by my side. Uh, but of course, please don't let me get in the way if you wish to participate with someone else. No, nah, absolutely. Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. E. Or I suppose I should say, please pardon my inexperience. And if I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. I must give me the third wheel in this. Give me an awkward. Give me kind of awkward. I'll keep Huda out then. Fitting. Be fitting for this event. Ah, it looks like you found yourself a partner. She was just literally five steps just away. About to start. I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. Is it Dongo it's Milk? Called Dongo Milk. What a shocker. Ooh. <laughs> Dongo Milk? Ooh. Correct. Yeah, we should have brought, uh, is kind enough A. to provide us with his Dongo Milk. And it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju Forest. The path will be marked with signs to guide you. But some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, if nah. you're ready, then you may begin. We don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go. So I could just glows here. Oh, all right. I guess we'll go around looking for are you. Following me? Yes, you are. Please stay mm. a little closer. All right, sure, but I just noticed the music just changed. Oh, I see. These signs. This reminds me of a story oh. that a retainer once told me several years ago. Yeah, yeah, ghost stories. There was a wandering samurai who, while crossing the forest at night, noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures that didn't appear to be human were all staring at him. Oh. <laughs> That's super scary. Paimon doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story. Mm, will we really be okay? If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, Traveler. <laughs> I, don't even have my, I don't even have my weapon. Sorry, Paimon, I don't have my weapon. Hmm. Oh, there I see an arrow over there. Wait, is there an arrow over here? Please oh. stay a little closer. You good? <laughs> oh, I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> how was that? Were you scared? I couldn't even see it. I can't quite make out oh, what his it is, bowl. but there seems to be something moving there. Damn it, Ito, why are you covering me in mud? He just summons his. He summons a bull or something. It's like a little cow. It moves. It's great. I guess we're doing all these things. Hopefully. Look, oh, it's not everyone. just one route. Isn't this the dongo milk we're searching for? 
And there's a scarecrow beside it. Strange. I don't like that, that sound effect. Well, it doesn't matter now since we found the dongle milk. Then we must be the first ones here, right? But there's no way we can carry back so much dongle milk. Why don't we drink some to lighten the load a little? Does it calm the nerves? Hyman could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! It appears to be guarding the dongle milk here. All right. You mean it's watching if we touch the dango milk? Uh, don't worry. Paimon didn't even touch it. We don't have to scare ourselves. Oh, maybe you're right. Paimon will try to calm down. Uh, let's try some together. Some dango milk with Ayaka. Mmm, tastes good. And Paimon. Indeed. Any fears I had a moment ago seem to have been dissipated by the dango milk. It does calm the nerves. And now that I look around, this is Chinju Forest as I have always known it. After making it here, it doesn't seem nearly as frightening. My brother once said that fear stems from one's heart. And if your heart is at peace, then fear naturally dissipates. Now I understand what he meant. But fear is not entirely <laughs> bad. Although I've been scared a few times... I still feel happy now. I would like to continue <laughs> walking through the forest for a while. Will you accompany me? I think I saw someone I just know oh, now. I see. Well, I shall continue walking while you go greet your friend. Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. I'll see you later. Have a lovely chat with your friend. All right. A? Up A. Whoa! It's really you! What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Miko told me about the test. Did you sense the dongo milk? Place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Here, there's dongo oh, milk here. So it's like, oh yeah. You're here. So what do you think of the test of courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary. Some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Miko! Did she <laughs> send A here to scare people on purpose? It really seems that way. If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the dongle milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round, too! Ah, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Oui. Uh huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? Not yet. I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. Mm. I took a brief look, and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. A little text above it. Any, any, uh, any Sobi? Any Sobi? Akitsu Hazura? What's that? Any Sobi? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazura when she was alive. Mm. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. Makoto's her twin sister that passed away the during Yaka the Archon War. Festivals from time For those who don't know. Gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh, does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Hmm. Well, sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. Sounds like it could be fun! Paimon would like to play! If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Yay! 
I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds. So please, keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course! <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything yeah. about a game on the beach from Ayato. You think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Oh... The more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh, this whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. Oh. Anyway, the first round of the event should be finished by now, so let's head back. Yeah, we'll check that out later. Hey, Ayaka, you're back. Yeah, let's keep going with this. We'll check that out later. That it is another part of this event. Oh, is that it? So that means the two other spots were something different. I just... Alright. That's lame. I wanted to see all of them, though. Give me... Let me see all my options. If I would have known that was a one-pick option, I would have just gone somewhere else. Woo! So, what'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? I guess. Didn't really scare us. You just threw your bull at us. Uh, what time I think? Uh... Was hiding behind you the entire time, so Paimon didn't really notice Ito's He just threw his cow at me, that's all he did. Uh, Paimon will leave this one to the traveler. So, was Ito scary or not? He's very subtle. Uh, what? No way! Listen, every time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of everyone. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. You ready? We've got <laughs> people to scare. His eyes lit up. Awesome. Oh, Ito. Always need you around for a good event. Alright, let's go help Ito scare people. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna fail or something. He's not gonna scare a single soul. Shh, shh, who knows? Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, Way too into this. To scare them, Ito? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. Huh? <laughs> hey, a bunch of kids now? A little traveler's face here. <laughs> I kind of doubt this will work. Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly. I feel like only Hutao could scary. pull that off. The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like <laughs> "this is boring" and "let's go home." <laughs> but it's dark and their guard is down. Now's our chance. Having the three of us suddenly come flying out of the bushes is gonna scare them real good. <laughs> Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next ambush spot. I guess it might work. Shh, you hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump on zero. Three. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, what? One. <laughs> ah! Ooh, go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm on. Booga, booga, booga. Wait. Y you're not. There, there, ghosts. Ghosts. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. <sighs> Did you see that? They were definitely not human. So all Wait, the they were masks. about the test of courage are true. Paimon, I didn't expect you to be such a baby. <laughs> hey, you're one to talk. You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. <clears throat> well, you sh you shouted ghost, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. 
Why do we stop running? Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. <laughs> Which means they were afraid of us too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha, <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed <laughs> up as ghosts to scare us. They were sent by Yashiro Commission then? Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk oh. around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go back? But... Yeah, sure, why not? There's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? <laughs> if we go back now, they might try to eat us. Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Wouldn't it be more dangerous to stay here alone? Oh, right. The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. <laughs> so, He's not wrong. Uh, I second that. Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paimon behind. Ever. Hmm. It looked like they were running that way, but... It's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. No, that's not a good idea. Then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous. It is. What is the Genshin? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. Uh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. It is Iso we're talking about. That bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Uh, do we really have to go? Better have a look. Oh, fine. <laughs> Let's go take a look then. Or the Paimon. second we see anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it? Good thing. Maybe not be so afraid, Paimon. Where's Ayaka? She just kind of just disappeared. She like gone for that for the rest of the duration. Well, That's a crow. Already walked all the way here. Hmm. Wonder where those three went. Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Sounds like you come to your senses. Hey! Listen up, you three little wimps! Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourselves! <laughs> I'm Paimon. Oh god. Turn into a horror movie. <laughs> There's someone actually here! Paimon's scary again! <laughs> Don't do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this <laughs> way, right? Are you okay? Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. I mean, here's she seems like she's bearing something. Are you talking to me? E. To someone oh, like God. me? <coughs> you have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you. Be gone. All right then, damn. It permits a strange fragrance of flowers. Wake up, hey traveler! Wake up! Oh, we should just have brought Hutao with us. What happened? Oh yeah, Heizu. This is the first time meeting him too. A young detective working for the Tenryo Commission who appears to be well behaved and polite, but actually, thumbs 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 his nose at all the official mumbo jumbo. As someone who has extensive experience in solving crimes, Heizu is always the first one to head of the police station. Turns in whoever there is an unusual 
complicated case. However, according to the young detective himself, his true trump card has never been experienced, but intuition. No wonder he's always wondering, where's a confident smile on his face? This is what they call an ease of genius. He came out, I think before Sumeru launched. He was out, he was like one of the last few Inazuma characters to be launched. And he had a hangout event, which I still have not done, but we'll do that at some, some point. Thank goodness you're okay. Is it? Before we get to that, Izu. I think someone needs your attention first. Izu. Please, please, <laughs> Paimon. Paimon doesn't taste very good. Please, avenge Paimon. Come on, wake up. Are you here to rescue Paimon? Oh, and Hazel's here too. Uh, uh, what happened to that scary person just now? Did you manage to defeat her? A scary person? There's a weird... There's a person wearing a weird outfit. Okay, I see. And scare the crap out of Paimon. I found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. It was a ghost. What happened? Tell me all the details. That game turns to like fast before we all of a sudden. As I suspected, there appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, oh. I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. You were commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. Oh. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Yakitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Uh, it's the same one. So you've heard of it. The game yeah. quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Yeah. Could it be run by ghosts? It's every event in Some tourists Genshin. started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage, so visitors have gradually returned again. But I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do mm. with the Yashiro Commission. Wait, so the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still decided to hold their event here? <laughs> but Ayato must Sounds about be right. Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. As for my commission, apparently someone reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. According to his own oh, account, torture. he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. Oh, that sounds so scary! He became the ghost. It was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story. The testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the test of courage. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth. So I'm here to investigate. Anyway, don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir. That's true. Part one's done. Oh yeah, we're doing all these parts. Or doing as much as we can. Okay. A bit. Uh, both A and Hazy mentioned a mysterious game on the beach. I guess we're gonna go do that. Now, Windrace, that's for something else. 
Um. Yeah, let's go to that one. Oh, never mind. We're here. It's in that game before. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we will. It leads into a mini game. Spoiler alert. Is it all the way over there? Okay, we're gonna have to walk there. But there's nothing in between, so I'll just see you there in a minute. Oh, we're here. Should be where people play it. Has to go Yuki. Yuki. Place seems to be open back up, just like I said. Paimon doesn't really see anyone here. Hazo said that we can start the game by talking to the bulletin board, so Paimon thinks we should try that. We try to be careful, though. Paimon doesn't want to be hurt, trapped here. And we won't be trapped. Game won't allow it. While playing Hatsu Yugi, player must. Yuge. Yuge, Yuge. The player must active, actively serve the ball and properly propel the skill bait ball forward using the bar. The skill ball is reborn, rebound upon colliding with the bar. If the collision occurs while the bar is moving, the rebound vector of the ball will also change. Before embarking on the challenge, you can set players can set modifiers on the pre match menu and be more effective bonuses. Alright. Based on elements of type possessed of the character controlling the bar, the bar will be infused with that cor corresponding element applying the same element to the skill ball. During Asuku Yugen, when, the, when there are pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro characters in the field, they'll apply their corresponding elements to the bar. Oh, not Geo? Or Animo? Or Dendro? Um, when there is less than a requisite amount of bricks on the field, they should balls to land ahead in the bar. With a fire of fury fire with a fire of flurry of fireworks. Fire flurry fireworks though. And you can do this in co-op too. So basically you're telling me it's brick break. I only wish life could be as Funny Genshin. Hold on a minute. See a crab there? Got him. It's just a crab there. I don't know why. I guess we have to do a round of this. Oh god, there's a lot. Quartz? I'll probably do this with my friends, but I'm going to at least do at least one round of it. I think you just need to do one round of it to continue. You can do it with another person if you want. Um, We'll just go with the normal team that I have in my arsenal. Whoops. Where's Mona? Oh, it doesn't... What? Doesn't let you use Hydro? Well, you know, it does let you use on Animal. And Geo. But not Hydro. That's weird. Huh. Um. Modify this a little bit. Oh, you know what? Give me, uh. Oh, okay, there you go. That's how it works. Give me, uh, Noelle instead of Jean. I guess put this on. Oh, select, uh. Alright, we'll just do this once and see how it is. I think you only need to do this once, but... I do want to do this with my other two friends I have. Or at least yet my other friend. Go low reaction with the bar will gain a detonation effect. Okay. Overload literally just means explosions. I understand how that works. Cause the superconduct reaction. Piercing effects and be afflicted. Hey, yeah, it's literally just brick break. Do I jump? I'll oh, right click. Do I just switch? Oh. That's cool. It's literally just brick break. Ah. It made two. That's pretty neat. Oh, crap. <laughs> Missed the ball. What does Geo do? Just makes it hit normally. Or mix two? No. That just happened naturally. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Again, why isn't Hu Tao in this event? <laughs> I'm gonna keep... I know. I'll stop mentioning it. But still. I feel like it should be a thing. They're all up there. That's pretty fun. I haven't seen anything like this in Genshin yet. Oh, 
All right. Coming down this way. Wait. Oh, is that the fireworks thing they were talking about? Got it. Neat. The modifier's unlocked. And we can go back to the site test of courage then. So this is one of the things. <laughs> go. Healing Mo. There's twice. These are just points. The tails. I gotta do the other two. Look. Oh, this is just all the stuff for this. Yeah, I'll probably do that with friends and record it. I'm not sure if I'll actually go through with that. I might do that in my own leisure time. It's just that over and over again. Uh, yeah. So since we got that out of the way, let's go back in and uh, resume what we were doing. Yeah, I might record that with friends. I'm not sure yet. Oh, hey. Not that. I want to look at that weapon that you get for free. Of the wrong menu. I think all the wrong menus tonight. Oh, there it is. Bakoba. Toka Boroshin. Almost a mastering base attack. If the attack hits an opponent, he will be afflicting afflict an instance of cursed parasol on top of them upon them for ten seconds. This effect will be triggered once every fifteen seconds. If the opponent is taken out during cursed parasol duration, cursed parasol's cooldown will refresh immediately. Character wielding this weapon will go sixteen percent more damage to the opponents. I'm sure you can get refinement out of this, so this will be a lot stronger. <laughs> kind of cool. One client, it's literally a parasol. Clients, three clients. Yeah, you you do that, Hotel. Literally just a parasol, but it's kind of cool. For any free play players. Yeah, we're just done playing Brick Break. I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. They're never going to show up, are they? Explain. We didn't find those three either. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty handed too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. What is it? Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like uh, the something by day becomes uh, something by night. A hunter by day becomes a hunted by night. Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. <laughs> anyway, I was so focused on scaring right. people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time. Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail him with a surprise attack. You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest, got it? Okay, see you later. Oh, Ito. <laughs> Again. You do that. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Whatever that is. Part two. Oh yeah, by the way, we are doing this all in one go. I ain't doing several parts of this. You kidding me? Come on. We don't run like that on our channel. We do everything. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the first round of the you. Test of Courage. Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Don't you woo at me. Hey, cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrifying! Who tell does that enough? Oh, really? Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. <laughs> uh, no, that's not what Paimon means! Something mysterious is also happening here. Not Traveler's not amused. So what? You've heard the stories about the test of courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them. And yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? I guess. Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around. <laughs> ah, really? 
He's messing with you. <laughs> I knew a little trick like that oh, would to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the test of courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? Another one? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows. If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. <sighs> Let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. So you told my Yoi Mia, all right. I've seen Yoi Mia in forever. Hey, you. Say so you standing right here. Where's my Mia? Oh, let me grab these berries first. Find her, cause that's what I want. Oh, she's right there. She was right, literally right behind me. Hello, firework lady. Hey, a traveler. Hi, Mon. I had a feeling you two would be here. also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongle milk too, but it was already too late. <laughs> Actually, hidden dongle milk. Paimon still doesn't know how he managed to find it. Paimon was just hiding behind her the whole time, and somehow we won! Traveler? You ever told me you were so good at this sort of event? You weren't keeping it a secret, were you? Anyway, would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team. With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. Yes. <laughs> awesome! Don't worry, you'll see that being on my team is a blast. Now let's get out there. So I have a pull for you. Thing. We'll move faster than a firework shooting straight into the sky. It'll be like whoosh, and the round will be ours. Like the enthusiasm. Back to her. Hey, found You're someone. Here to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the test of courage. It's. A fan. God. A fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up. Let's go. I think we missed a shootout with fireworks. There's darkness, there is light. Something like that. Okay, again. I'm noticing a theme. Something just fell from above. Ah, keep it away can I pick him up? Really? Damn it. And pretty strong ones from the looks of it. I'll hold on to them. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> They'll come in real handy for the next Onikabuto tournament. Wanna pick one up, damn it. You're good for material. You're trying to scare us again. Yeah, right or left. One left last time. I kinda wanna go up here. This chest up there. Uh, hear what? It sounded like it came from inside the shrine. I've heard people say that some evil spirits are sealed in shrines, and at night they make bang sounds from inside. Whenever someone approaches, a spirit will pow, leap out, and pull <laughs> that unfortunate person inside the shrine, using the victim to replace themselves as the prisoner. Huh? The black cat. Oh, it 
It's a oh. kitty. Not gonna lie, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to see a real evil spirit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the cat. Well, you mean like um? I think of that one game I recently played not too long ago, or no, not recent. Yoshimaru, oh, that's what it was. Because there was a centipede god. It was really weird. You want to explore somewhere else? Uh, how about we finish the test of courage first? I guess it's, does it just stop here? This is the edge of it. You want yeah. to explore somewhere else? Uh, how about we finish the test of courage first? Okay, I get it. I just wasn't too sure if I can go beyond that sign or not. Let's go back down this way. Maybe that's what it was like in the last one. Just a bunch of dead ends. Which is fine. That's is that lavender strange. melon? How did Paimon transform into a lavender melon? Hey! Paimon's over here! That doesn't even look like Paimon! <laughs> but it's food. Huh? So what in the world is this? Hey! It's flying away! Don't go! Let me have a look at ya! <laughs> I'll go left. Go to where all is pretty. <sighs> Should be far enough. Are you tired, Paimon? Do you want to take a break? Yes, please. Oh, let's rest here. Uh, uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Was that statue always facing this way? Ah, the candles also went out. What's going on? Is something coming? Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, Paimon wasn't kidding. The statue really did move. Wonder how that works. Come on, let's go. We can't you want to explore somewhere else? Uh how about we finish the test of courage first? It was. We're working on it. You're just acknowledging those statues moved. I like how she's unfazed by it. You mean with traveler, they're just like, okay, let's go, fine on, it's not that bad. The fruit stand? Hmm, what is this stall doing here? Maybe it's for participants who need a break? <clears throat> Excuse me, three glasses of juice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this time it's on me. I don't think that's how it works. Thanks, it's all floating. Um, excuse me, anyone here? I can't jump. Strange. Seems like no one's around. Guess we'll just have to keep going. <laughs> Interesting. We got watermelon now. I have watermelon forever. Can I get these berries real quick? Or are you just you gonna tell me to go somewhere, somewhere else? Uh, how about we finish the test of courage first? I just want to grab these berries. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Guess I'll head back then. I must have hit all the dead ends this time. Whoop. Uh, another stall? That was a, quite Should the camera familiar? jerk. The same one. Wait, isn't this the same stall <laughs> we saw earlier? Same exact one. I don't want watermelon. It's really funny. I am drinking a monster right now that is watermelon. Yeah, but I'm like, I want a real watermelon now. Um. Go back to the. Yeah, what's that? A lantern. Two lanterns. Wow! Look at all the lanterns here! It's so beautiful! Yeah, blue fire. But. Now that I look closer, it seems like the lanterns are floating in midair. How is that possible? Nah. Uh, that's definitely not normal. Hey, can I borrow your shoulders for a second? You can give me a boost, and I'll pull one of them down. No, now <laughs> Sure. Fine. Oh, here's the fan. Hey, look what we have here. Isn't this the fan we're looking for? Wow, it has such a beautiful design on it! Are those fireworks? It seems to be for some sort of festival. So, now that we've found this fan, does that mean we've won the second round of the Test of Courage? Let's bring it back! <sighs> Thank goodness it's <laughs> over. Hmm. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh... I wouldn't be too worried about him. Hmm? Is there something else you need to take care of? How about 
I take the fan back then. Thank you. That would help. No need to thank me. It's been a blast doing the test of courage with you guys. I'd love to do it again. It's good to hear your voice again. <laughs> I've got you now. Hmm? Uh, just run! Don't worry oh. about me! He's over there. Ha! Don't underestimate this, Sony. None of you are getting away today. Hey! It's Ito! It looks like he captured those three we were looking for. Hold up. Let's go see! Anything in the water over here? No. Alright. Moving on. I thought there was a chest over there. Oh, you really captured them! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? <laughs> what are you saying? We couldn't abandon you? Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. What a bro. If you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Was this something tasty? Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know. These are all creatures from the Ultimate Yokai Field Guide that Granny used to show Ultimate me. Ultimate Yokai? There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. They're all Yokai. It sure took you long enough to notice. <laughs> well, we recognized Damn. you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Uh, oh, pff, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're legends. the one people are scared of. Hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? <laughs> Don't think I didn't see you following her around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Oh, the Beatles? No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to... Uh... Um... Uh... Go ahead, you can tell us. Really? You're not... Mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, just it doesn't her. seem like you were doing it on purpose. You were only scaring Paimon. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon <laughs> will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um... Well, the truth is... We were planning a festival, one hosted by the yokai, but humans are also welcome to attend. You mean the Makawa Flower Festival? Ah, the festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival? Oh. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, but still. Yes. Yeah, the that Mikawa was fun. Flower Festival is our aspiration, but we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But we're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Mm. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm hmm You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters, allowing us to live in peace. Ah, oh, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but uh, hmm. your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to you. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have oh. we tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We it's drew inspiration right. from the legendary Akitsu Hazara. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. Hello, Albedo. Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the Traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? 
To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. Yeah. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. Sounds cool. Oh shit, anyway. It said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? Oh, it's like one of those barrier what things. What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. That's cool. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. It's a weasel man? Uh, this is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, hmm. young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. And ten years. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. We heard this, that someone has been trapped in Akitsu Yugen? Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed huh. Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Chinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. It was wonderful. A human man with blue hair? Yeah, it must have been Ayato. Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? <laughs> Your bro? He's here to catch Oni Kabuto. Ha! Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him. Wow! Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is. <laughs> it's alright, no need to tell him now. Well, anyway, <laughs> seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts. <sighs> what a relief. And now that we know what's happening, the test of courage doesn't seem that scary after all. Hey, you want to hang out with humans, right? I totally get that. After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this Oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. The yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but Paimon was too busy having the bejeevers scared out of her to pay any attention until now. 
Come to think of it, uh, Hyman remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we can help out. You say you're now scared, but then you're gonna be scared like five minutes later. All right, go back there then. Oh, more berries down here. Oh, this place is decorated. That was a haunted fruit stall. Seriously, we're... Lutao feels like she's in her natural habitat down here. Look at all the ghosts! Wait! You're the strange lady we met before! You're gonna curse me? Oh, it's you two again. I have to say, I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're much braver than I thought. Oh, cool outfit. But I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll... Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. We just met your fellow yokai, and they told us everything. Huh? Fellow yokai? You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. So which type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let Paimon guess. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Actually, Paimon has no idea what you are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? Akitsu Yugen? Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time, and I could... Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? You good? Oh, maybe you're hungry, or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Don't worry, Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. We're your friends too. Yeah. To worry. Come on, let's go play a Kitsu Yugen. We'll see who can finish the game the quickest. The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Oh, it's starting! Get ready. <laughs> I guess I gotta complete a match of this one. Amazing! You cleared all the elemental cubes so quick! That was not quick. It took me a bit. <laughs> Paimon thinks we got this in the bag. Okay, watch and learn. Record speed. No way! She hit every cube in one shot and finished even faster than you, Traveler! Oh, Paimon's head is spinning after watching that! Did you see how she did it? You win. Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Well, damn. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the ones who created Akitsu Yugen. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. <laughs> but before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. A wish, huh? Then I wish that we never cross paths again. We? Oh, damn. What? But didn't we just have a great time together? That's precisely why. Don't ever come near me or speak to me again. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? This is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... <sighs> I'll steal your souls! I like to see you try, lady. Scared now? Good! Then don't come here again! Not really, just like. Uh. Why? Paimon doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? Everyone has their reasons. Uh, fair enough. I guess. But. Paimon had a lot of fun playing Akitsu Yugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. I like how the banners in the background are that, um, the samurai and that wind weasel from the cutscene we just saw not too long ago. Cute. 
Okay, where is Ito? Back up this way, okay. Probably come back here for a thumbnail. Hutao. This would be a perfect one. I mean, come on. Ito Hutao's not here with us. They better make a, an actual, like, really good so, ghost event. You must be Hitatsume Kozo. Y yeah. Hey, Kazo's here. No to be nervous. I'm Yuimiya, and I run Naganohara Fireworks. Oh, I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful, bursting across the sky. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. Whoa, really? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, are you Lord Kaedahara Kazuha? Yes, that's me. But I'm afraid that I'm no lord, just a wandering samurai. I've seen you with your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing swordsmanship. Ah, uh, that oh, there must you have are, been Ayaka. when I was trying to escape Inazuma. It wasn't as impressive as you make it seem. I had to face many trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the Kamisato clan also lent me his assistance at the time. By the way, this is his sister. Oh, so you must be the one and only Shirasagi Himegimi. What an honor. There's no need to be so formal. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Koro. Hey, don't you want to go talk to them too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Really? Well, that's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. I'm not sure why, but I feel so relaxed when talking with you, General Goro. <laughs> Actually, I'm the he most good of boys. the three of us. I hid for days the last time someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. Uh, it's okay. You can't excel at everything. The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there. <laughs> Chatting away, I see. Mind if I join you? I've never seen a kappa before. <laughs> see you. Uh, hello there. Thank you for bringing so many amazing people to meet us, Ito. Ah, <laughs> it's nothing. Being the one and only means being the best, you know? Oh, I should mention that uh, I even have my own gang, and every member has a special title. Classic Ito! There you go, bragging about yourself again. <laughs> Don't confuse them. Everyone's here for the test of courage, not because you brought them here. Half the people here don't even know who you are. Hey, this is my moment, Paimon. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. Damn. When it comes to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, then let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Sure. Bring it on, Bull Checker Beetle Boy. <laughs> um, uh, please don't fight. Actually... I think you're both really amazing. Sucker. And you also have a great friendship, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. <laughs> well, of course. Boss! Oh, there's your oh, gang. It's the boys. The boys. Ah, darn it. I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the gang. Boss! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I... Boss, we're, we're sorry. sorry! Wait, what now? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, boss. You were right. Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying. There are definitely ghosts here. I still get shivers just thinking about it. But the thrill was kind of fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Anyway, no need to be too scared now. Let me tell you what's happening here. 
It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. All the scary stuff you saw was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Right? Ah, uh, sorry, but I've never seen these three before. Oh. I'm not sure where you've been or what you've seen, but I don't think it had anything to do with us. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Huh? Wait, hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? <laughs> you know, now's not really the time for that. No, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. But if it wasn't you guys, does that mean there are real ghosts out here? Wait a minute. You didn't meet a lady who was all dressed up. Oh, that's right. Paimon assumed she was a yokai too. And we even played a Kitsuyukin with her! Uh, I... I'm not sure who it was you met, but we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. Hmm. Ah, so she was a ghost? Uh, boss, save us! <laughs> calm down. Everyone just, just calm down now. What's all the noise about? Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's... Hey, though! There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, only your noise would drive it away. Ito, mm. you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Paimon, please, come with me. Oh, okay. <sighs> Paimon somehow feels a little better now that Hazo's here. He probably already found it out, hasn't he? I don't know. <laughs> don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, You're the, the best, best boss! <laughs> I love Hito and his gang. You do one. Could the rumors be true, then? Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Please, be careful. Well, this is a fantasy, so probably, yeah. I think that sweet flower though. Let me tell talk to everyone real quick. So is there really a ghost around here? I'm gonna go look for it. I've never seen a ghost before. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> yeah, he may just not care. This is one of my usual hiding spots. It's always safe here. Let me show you a trick. Just cover your eyes, and the scary things will go away. Okay, I'll try that next time I play Phasmophobia. <laughs> Close my eyes and everything. They'll just go away. I believe my lord had foreseen this situation. He has my absolute trust. But given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. <laughs> Bring them. I have a feeling there's not going to be any fighting at all during this event, but that's okay. I just wanted to bring Ayaka. Hello? Miss Shy Maiden? Uh, huh. Hey, lady. Strange. She isn't here. Ah! What's this? Look, there's something written in red on the bulletin board. The written in blood? Round three, item, Hagoita. Does this mean that the item we have to find in the third round is a Hagoita? The Shrine Maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the Test of Courage. But where did she go? She was... <gasps> Has she been taken away by a ghost? I was going to say, she's spirited okay, away. Next. Oh. <gasps> Paimon will never leave your side now! <laughs> the words are scribbled there hastily, Paimon. but there's no evidence of a struggle. However... Aren't there too many words written here? What did you notice? I believe that the three items chosen for this three-round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. The Dongo Milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event, and the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provided the staff. So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand Narukami Shrine, have any unique significance? Later. The bigger mm. question is, are we really going to join the third round of the test of courage? I see Fox Lady. Paimon would love to win the grand prize, but our 
Be kind of cool. Excuse me. Make a tactical retreat. <laughs> tactical retreat. I still have my commission to complete, so I'll stay. Fear arises from mystery, and it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from the mystery. <sighs> mm -hmm. Freeman somehow feels a little better after hearing you say that. Okay then, let's wait for a while. Maybe the Shrine Maiden had something to take care of and we'll be back soon. Wait. At the part three of the spirits. Wait until the following days. How long do you want me to wait? This long? Oh yeah, I just saw the marker disappear. <laughs> oh, there it is. Traveler, Paimon, please let me be your. You guys just been standing here. The test of courage. Like ye. I'd like your assistance with this investigation, since you two are the only ones who have seen the alleged ghost. That's fine with Paimon. What do you think, Traveler? Well, that fix my beanie. Why am I me? I have a few theories, but we don't have enough leads yet. There are some places I'd like to investigate first, so you two can accompany me. Sure. Where would you like to start? I want to go back to where we first met up. According to your accounts, you encountered the ghost there and passed out. I believe there may still be some clues there. Uh, do we really have to go there? What if we're walking into a trap? Are you worried that she'll be waiting for us? If anything, that would make things easier. My worry is that we won't be able to find her. Honestly, it'd save me a lot of trouble if she were to show up on her own. Wow, Hazel, sure. you're fearless. The more cases you see, the less afraid you become. Let's go. I believe that. Hi, right, Bravery. This should be approximately where you first encountered the ghost. Of course, we what is it here? It looks like it was behind a tree. Actually, a ghost or not at this point. That was behind a bush. But I'd like to go over everything that happened again. Do you recall anything she said at the time? Hmm. Let Paimon think. Kind of threatening us. She warned us not to go near her. Mm -hmm. She said if we didn't leave, our souls would become trapped here. Ooh, Paimon doesn't want to remember that moment. Paimon shivering just thinking about it. And then what happened? Then everything seemed to get darker, and Paimon started to feel dizzy. There were ghostly flames flickering all around, and Paimon there were ghost flames. Sort of black mist surrounding the ghost, and then Paimon passed out. Hmm. Based on your account, it does really seem like you've seen a ghost. Exactly. So are you convinced it was a ghost now? It's possible, but I'm more interested in what she's actually trying to achieve than what she is. Even if she is a ghost, as long as she possesses some sense of reason, then there must be some purpose behind her actions. True. Wasn't she after our souls? She said that herself. I think she was just trying to scare you. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Think about it. If I had the ability to take your souls, then why go to the trouble of warning you over and over again? True. Besides, a ghost wouldn't have allowed you to walk away knowing about the secret of its powers. Hmm. This is true. That does make sense. Huh. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Because you're always too scared to think I straight. There are only two possibilities. The first is that she wanted to reap your souls, but there was some condition that had to be met. You know, like what we usually call a curse. But if you had really been cursed, then you would probably have noticed it by now. Depends so, on the curse. This is the less likely scenario. I believe she was just trying to scare you away. But why would she want to scare us away? Hmm. Oh, hi, my nose! Maybe she was trying to get us to quit so she could claim the test of courage prizes! You register as a constant? Oh! Hmm. Probably not. So why does she want to scare us? Do you have any ideas, Hazel? Based solely on your account, I don't believe she actually meant any harm. She just didn't want you to stay here. 
But this evidence alone is insufficient to make any valid assumptions. She could very well be guarding some treasure or covering up a crime. Mm. Though, my intuition is telling me that neither of these hypotheses are correct. Let's continue investigating the surrounding area. I wish she was burying something here. What if it's visible on the ground? However, closer ex inspection, they seem to belong to Hazel and myself. Huh? Could this woman really be a ghost? We looked all around, but I haven't found any clues. Getting up, there's a few branches that have been bent slightly downward, as if something heavy has been hanging from them. Okay. That's a weird effect. It's like. Or is it because I'm seeing through the character? Yep. Yeah. Oh. It looks like it's like some kind of filter. I know some some branches I've seen on yeah, the usual. Some branches seem like they were bent by something, but that's about it. I see. After you left, I took a good look around the area. Find Aside anything? from the bent branches. There are burn marks in some places, but that doesn't really tell us much. If only there was some more conclusive evidence. Excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt. The blue dude. Oh, it's you guys. What are you all doing here? We heard you were out searching for clues, and we wanted to help. Oh, that's really brave of you. Uh, actually... We're also really unsure about what's happening here. There's that too. We just asked the members of Mr. Ito's gang about what happened to them. And it sounded really scary. That lady is either a nasty evil spirit or a formidable yokai. Either way, it's not hmm. good. B but we still want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival. Uh-huh. We long admired the friendship between Lord Kamai and the Samurai. Which is why we want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival, to return the favor we once received from the humans. Even though our powers are limited, we don't want this bond of friendship to vanish. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to be enjoyable for everyone. The Chinju Forest covers a large area, so it'd be great to have more help in the investigation. Welcome to the team. Let's all do our best to figure out what's going on. Don't worry, we're very familiar with the area. We won't miss any clues. Well, all right then. You guys got it going on over here. All right. Look what I found down by the river. Huh? What is it? Oh. Is it a scrap of black cloth? Hmm, I've never seen fabric like this before. <sighs> this is a piece of shade cloth. Shade cloth? Yeah, it can effectively block out light and is used in a variety of settings, including stage performances. Oh. There's a rough tear in the cloth, Probably caused by a sharp stone, or maybe some branches. Branches? Suppose that a large shade cloth was originally hung from a tree, bending the branches. When the shade cloth was removed from the tree, perhaps one of the corners caught and the branches ripped it, causing a small piece of black cloth to fall into the river. Either hmm. she didn't care, or she was in too great a hurry. Perhaps she had other things to handle at the time. In the trees. I'm only speculating, but maybe she used it to create the atmosphere you experienced. What do you mean? Let's not worry about that for now. There are still many variables I haven't deduced yet. Next, I'd like to investigate the place where the Arataki gang encountered her. Do you know how to get there? Oh, I know the way. I asked the gang members where their encounter with the ghost happened when we were chatting earlier. I'll take you there. Good. Please lead the way. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, it's literally right here. 
Could be further than this. This is the place. They claim that as they passed through here, the area suddenly grew dark, and some ghostly flames appeared out of nowhere. Huh. What a coincidence. Mm hmm We saw the very same thing. Only it was scripted. No. Let's start by taking a look around the area, just as we did before. I found some sort of smashed ball under the tree. The inside oh. of it looks like it was blackened by smoke, and it smells like fireworks. Except for that one gadget. That kind of thing. Judging from the burn marks left on the scene, the ghostly flames you saw were not created by yokai power. Rather, they appear to have been caused by something flammable. I'm not sure what, though. Firework, maybe? There's some strange powder in the cracks of these stones. I picked some up and sniffed it to see what it is. And it made me Yeah, really it sounded like a firework. Oh, he's you. He's oh. Hmm. Similar scare tactics. And she didn't have the time to completely hide the traces. I believe we're closing in on the truth now. I'm almost certain that the woman you encountered was not a ghost. She possesses no extraordinary powers. She was merely scaring people with some small props she had set up ahead of time. Oh. Some small props? Which is a normal human. Can you really do all that with just some props? What we saw was absolutely terrifying. First and foremost, the test of courage contributed to the unsettling atmosphere here. You were initially frightened by your first encounter with these three yokai, and then shortly after, you ran into the mysterious woman. It was natural for you to be on edge. Because you were already tensed up, you were breathing more rapidly and inhaled a lot of sleeping powder that she had sprinkled around the area. That oh. is what caused you to feel dizzy. That's when she pulled down the shade cloth and lit those so-called ghostly flames, creating a terrifying scene. What was with the lanterns? Hmm. That's the most likely explanation. Or is that from the yokai? So, it was all just a show? Uh, she tricked us! There is, however, still one loose end. The person who commissioned my investigation did become stranded on the beach as a result of some unusual power. Oh, you had the guy? It have been accomplished by just a few small props. But if she possesses such powers, why bother with the theatrics? Oh. Paimon can't wrap her head around all this. Hmm. Just an ordinary lady? She can only use props to scare people in the forest, but she can use strange powers on the beach. Huh. I see. I think I've figured it out. Whoa, that was fast. If we rule out the potential of organized crime, then only one possibility remains. I know who the woman is. Let's go to the beach. Okay. We'll come along too. No, you should go back and tell the others not to be afraid and not waste their time searching the forest. The truth has surfaced. It's time to put an end to all the unnecessary panic and await the outcome of the test of courage. Okay, but please be careful. If you run into any danger, yeah, we'll simply call out our names. We'll be able to hear you. There shouldn't be any danger now, but thank you anyway. Let's go. I'm so confident. Let's search along the cliffs, huh? Have if confidence. Not mistaken, there should be a chunk of earth that's unlike the others. Alright. I was kind of expecting a fight or two. If there's like no fighting at all, I'm kind of a little bit surprised. Usually there's at least a few moments of fight. Look at that lantern. Can I have that in my teapot? It looks so cool. I knew that you would come find me here. There she is. I found you. Thought you were a yokai like the others, but they said they never seen you before. So, who are you? And why did you try to scare us? So you didn't go very far. I have already warned you never to speak to me. If you don't leave now, then. It sure doesn't seem like she's using any props this time. 
Don't move. Just trust me. Mm. Your yokai power won't scare us. It will only hasten your demise. Yokai power? Huh? How did you know? Your yokai that emerged from an object and assumed a human form outside of your own body. When this type uh -huh. of yokai is close to its own body, it can use some yokai power, but that ability weakens as it moves further away. And if the original body is destroyed, then the yokai that originated from it will likewise perish. Should I refer to you as a Hogoita spirit or Tsukumogami? Don't bother. You may call me Hanyuda Chizuru. That is Chizuru. the name I go by now. Chizuru? Why do you want us to leave? By the way, your outfit looks really yokai, cool. You should understand why the other Digging yokai the black and like red. to interact with humans. Besides, we had a great time playing Akitsu Yugen together, didn't we? Just like the story of Kamai and the Samurai. Yes. That's why. That's why I don't want you to be sad, too. Sad? What do you mean? What happened? Tell me all about it. I'm sure the yokai have already told you of the story about Kamai befriending the samurai. But they don't actually know the entire story. Oh? Lay down me, sister. The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. Hey, he's like one year younger they than me. They met again 10 years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But 10 years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow margin. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger oh, in their next duel. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Kamai was unconcerned, mm. because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when human. they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> this time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. Friendship Aww. started as something they looked forward to, and in just a few decades, it turned into regret. Lord Kamai's appearance hadn't changed, but his dear friend in front of him had grown old. The joys of friendship gradually gave way to the pain of regret. People often say that those outside the situation can see things more clearly. And I learned a harsh truth after witnessing all of it. Everything that people come to regret is inevitably set in motion from the beginning. We yokai are different from humans. We have longer lifespans and different natures, but we share the same world. We interact with one another. We are drawn to one another and will eventually part ways. When the dream ends, all that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. 
Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. True. Oh. So, you mean... I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. Uh -huh. I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the Samurai. That would simply be repeating the same mistake. Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh. So you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? My power has become pretty weak now. And most of the time I just use some props I've collected to scare people. I can't show myself when there are a lot of people around. Uh -huh. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. That's why I used my yokai power. To teach him a lesson. And then he deserved it. Ah, so that's Absolutely. what happened. You have a strong sense of justice. By the way, how did you know the rest of the story about Kamai and the Samurai? <sighs> it's okay if you don't want to tell us. I've already figured it out. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, isn't it? It is red. Hagoita? Oh, wait! So that means she's... The pair of Hagoita used by Kamai and the human samurai to play Akitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. You were the closest to witness their story. Even with the yokai power's blessing, the Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. That's and why you're waiting on the beach. If my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the Test of Courage. Excellent work. You figured it all out. The Guji. Congratulations, little ones. You've passed the third round of the Test of Courage. Miko? And the Shrine Maiden? Paimon thought you went missing. I apologize for causing you concern. It was actually Lady Yai's idea. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> well, what did you think? Were you scared? Because eh. fear is induced by uncertainty, the more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. I must say, I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff. Hitomi, go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have a winner. Now that I've solved the mystery, I'm going back to meet with my client. The intent to steal is not exactly a serious crime, but it can't go unpunished. I'll see you Still a later. crime. Nico, did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. That oh. was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the Samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. 
At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, because I blamed myself. When I woke up again, the world had changed. Lady Yae, you are a well-known yokai. You must know many more things than I do. So I have a question for you. People meet, become friends, and then go their separate ways. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with humans? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? I... felt happy, but... Hmm, but your rationality told you that it was wrong, didn't it? Uh. It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. True, but the story doesn't end there. That Samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, who also happens to be the founder of the Soran Ishin art. It is believed that Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai, who had also befriended the third generation heir of the Soran Ishin art, Tominaga Masanari. Five hundred years ago, Kamai and Tominaga fought side by side until their final moments, and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh. I never knew. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the That's day true. will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. However, the bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Hey, compadres! <laughs> Goes back. Ito, what are you doing here? <laughs> he told me, told me everything. And I also heard that you won the last round. I even know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others, and, uh... Hey, you're that fox lady. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> you're that fox lady. Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Ah, right. <clears throat> All right, listen up. To celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival. I gave it some real thought and realized that it might be kind of difficult for those little yokai to hold the festival on their own. Mm -hmm. But with my help, it won't be a problem. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa Flower Festival anyone's ever seen. Hooray for Ito! Oh. <laughs> uh... Can we really trust this guy with the festival? You're gonna have to. Hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people will help too. Even my bro Ayato is gonna be there. Everyone's busy oh. getting ready, and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> You're the best, Ito! At least the kids agree. He just sits out that quick, she... <laughs> and what would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look too. Ah, it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, I brought sake with me. Nice. I just gotta admit, Ito does have his moments. He does. A festival, delicious food, can Paimon in! Want to join us? Uh, all right, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. I go have fun. Looks like the festival has started. Let's go check it out. Oh. 
Whoop. I wanted to look around at first, but there's a crab. And Goro! What are you two talking about? Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. <laughs> fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. True. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Yeah. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it. Huh? Y you wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did. I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, oh, she's so amazing. <laughs> she got back to me really quickly, too. Huh, what a coincidence. I do some part-time work there, and I recently received a similar letter. <laughs> you mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No. Could it be? <laughs> Could it be? That there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> oh, you do that, Ito. the string snapped. I was so close. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry. Let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yo, yo, Tsuri! I haven't seen this game in some light novels before. Yo, yo, Tsuri. Do you want to give it a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paimon will let the traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> he only has one eye. I don't think I've heard of that. Mm, Go Siri. This ramen is so good. <sighs> Yes, it feels like it's been ages since the last time I had some. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious! Oh, oh real, it's real you. ramen. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt, so I don't get to eat them very often. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. <clears throat> huh? Oh, uh, please, no need to bring that up again. Phew, I'm stuffed and feeling a little sleepy. <sighs> I'm just gonna take a nap. Um. By the way, were <clears throat> there any special stalls at Yokai in the past? Yes, but, well, it's a long story. A very long story. So long the camera had to pan up. And the moon went flying on through. I can't believe you couldn't get a single water balloon. He's gotten rusty. <laughs> Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. He looked like he really wanted it. But Paimon <laughs> wanted one too. All right, then one I'll more. catch one for you next time. Yay! <laughs> Come on now, this is way more expensive than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices this much. Hey now, it costs money to run a stall. I need to raise my prices to help cover the expenses, you know? You sound uh, familiar. Enough. How about five masks for 30% off? Final offer. All right, all right. Hmm. Oh, it's so hot. It feels like I'm being roasted here. Why the fuck are you standing Don't next to the fire close. like that? 
It's better to keep a few steps back. It's like standing know, right next to it. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. Also, don't let the Aokai near kids. They'll drown them. I was surprised Roo. that you didn't even tell your sister. Roo. It seems Roo she fact. was quite frightened, too. It would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. And besides, with her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Ah, oh, how amusing. <laughs> yes, well done. Hey, you two, stop laughing! It was scary! Hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Just about. Well then, are you having a good time? Yeah, it's great! It's alright. The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively. But yeah, there's yokai you everywhere. The original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to her alone. We'll leave you in peace. Hmm? What did you want to say to us? Ah, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. It's not that Does. I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. <sighs> Traveler, mm. do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you alone on the beach. This ain't Jesus. Interesting. Saying goodbye is also part of a festival. Hmm, yes. Every celebration must come to an end. Unfortunately. But yes. Wake this up. I do need those. For something, I don't remember what. Alright, what are we talking about? Alright, here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Don't mention Actually, it. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. Mm. I wanted to go to more festivals, become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. But every evening, Aww. as night began to set in, I recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. Understand what you mean. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. I am used to I it. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai. But instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. I... Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play Akitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left. <laughs> And I didn't want to be alone. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to play with me. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So... Can I make another wish? Of course. Let me think. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no. 
I only have one wish, so I better make it count. Okay. Listen carefully. My wish is... I wish that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy, like a festival. No. Like, could you repeat that? All those fireworks were really loud as hell. How lovely. And that's all there is to this event, really. Oh, I got a stall from that? Hell yeah. Let's go. Where is it? Oh, did they get added instantly? It was one of those. Yeah, it's one of those. I thought it was like a blueprint or something. It must have been one of those kind of things that gets added in the city. Well, this was fun. It's a nice little event. I'm gonna go... Do you two say the same thing? Every year when the fireworks go off, I say to myself, another year has already passed. As each year passes by, your life gradually approaches its end. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I always say, fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. That's true, you do say that a lot. <laughs> oh, I've grown taller. I'm so tall. Everyone else looks so tiny now. <laughs> when Ayato approached me about holding the Test of Courage event, it dawned on me that this would be the perfect opportunity to help Chizuru face her problem. Kamai and the Samurai's parting was one of the first things she experienced when she was partially sentient and didn't have her human form yet. This was a very traumatic experience for her, and she could never come to grips with it by reasoning alone. The best option for her was to directly interact with humans. There's no need to feel sad. I believe she was content when she left us. That's good. So? Did you enjoy the test of courage? Once I learned of the yokai's intentions to hold a festival, I wanted to spread the word and attract people to their event. However, it occurred to me that doing so might be overly ambitious. If we marketed the Mikawa Flower Festival from the get-go, people would have arrived with insatiably high expectations. So I decided on using the test of courage's notoriety to attract visitors, and left the rest to the yokai. I had an inkling that their presence would spice up the event. <laughs> Did, in some way. <sighs> After hearing Chizuru describe the original Mikawa Flower Festival, I wanted to arrange another chance to talk with her about it. I didn't expect that would be our last conversation. Aww. But it was. Surprised me for a real long time, but it should scare people. I can finally take a break from that. Alright. Will you have some time in the next few days, Kazuha? I'd like you to work on a case with me. Oh, did you run into some trouble? Not exactly. It's just an old case with almost no tangible leads. But I believe your attuned sense of nature might allow us to discover some new clues. Sure. I can stay after the festival and we can go investigate together. Great, thank you. My pleasure. It's no trouble at all. Oh, this dude's like buddies. Even though I knew my lord had most likely planned everything before the test of courage even began, I was still caught off guard. But in retrospect, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, fun. <sighs> Lifespans, partings, it really gets you thinking, doesn't it? But, uh, I got nothing. All <laughs> I know is I'll never regret meeting you. Well, that's good. Oro. It was, uh, heartbreaking to learn of Chizuru's story. To be honest, I experience that same kind of sorrow when I'm on the battlefield. I don't know when I'll lose my comrades. So, I try to appreciate every moment. 
It's almost like that whole thing. Enjoy the moment while you can. Well, this was fun. I enjoyed this short little event. It wasn't super long. It wasn't super short. It was fun. I still have a lot of stuff. To, I still have to go play that uh, pinball game. Or the Brick Break game. You know what it's called. But anyways, that was fun. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Journey of fun, heartbreaking moments, I guess. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. But next time, you'll probably be a few more episodes of card games while we go through with this. I'm going to go edit this and bring it out as soon as possible. So, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, I have an Instagram. It'll be in the description below, as always. Until then, see you guys next time. See you.